Is it just me or are video games our saving grace right about now? These are the things that we know we can rely on and count on and look forward to even if everything else is going bananas. So while we sit inside, thank goodness the big releases are starting to come through. After a slow start to 2020, we got Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo, and the full game on the way. A bunch of stuff is launching, and I love that Nintendo and the Switch are putting so many games on sale. Today we've got over 20 titles that I think you're going to be stoked about, so let's roll through the biggest new sales on Switch and maybe get you a game that you can dive into and stress relieve divert your attention, and enjoy for the long haul. Now, let me know in the comments down below which of these games you're most excited to pick up or which you'd recommend to a friend. We've got all sorts of games from big publishers, small indies, and some super cheap 90% off sales that you're going to want to stay tuned for. Hit that like button if you enjoy these sales and the fact that Nintendo is giving us goodies and gifts. They gave us Indie World, fingers crossed for that Direct. Tom Nook is just a few hours away, but let's see what Square Enix has to offer. They've got their publisher sale running till March 30th at 9 a.m. Pacific and a bunch of Final Fantasy games on sale. But before we get to Final Fantasy, hold the phone, Zach from Switch Force. How dare you talk about any other game before you mention that something's going on with Animal Crossing New Horizons. The title is finally upon us and a tipster gave me this sale from 5below.com where you can grab some of the Animal Crossing Amiibo for only $5. Now, it's not 100% clear how all the Amiibo stuff is going to work in New Horizons. There's the cards, there's the figures. It looks like the cards are going to allow you to welcome those characters to your campsite. And the figures are going to be more for Photopia, which is like a photo booth, photo shoot type thing within the game. Um, and there are certain compatibilities and they're going to add more as they go. So if you want to know all the specific details, definitely look into them. But whether you use these guys in the game or just want them in your office or your bedroom or wherever to help celebrate the launch of New Horizons, five bucks for Amiibo is a great deal. And they do have some of the big characters that will work with New Horizons from launch like Mabel and Tom Nook. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to grab any of these. I'm expecting them to go fast at $5, but had to let you know as we're so excited for AC here at Switch Force. Oninaki is on sale for 40% off down to $30. Now this was a bit of a hard sell for me personally at 50 bucks last year, but there are some clever ideas here. There are some, some cool concepts. The story is very dark and very deep and very weird. There is a demo if you want to give it a go first to see if you like it, but I think at $30, it's far more recommendable than it was at 50. It does have pretty art. It's not Final Fantasy, it's not Dragon Quest. So if you mastered those franchises and want something different from Square Enix, Oninaki could be for you. Of course, if you want to relive the nostalgia of Final Fantasy or dip your toes in for the first time, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age is 50% off down to $24.99. Now, I think this game is underappreciated and the HD remaster makes it look pretty and reworks some of the game design. It is a cool Final Fantasy and one that I was really glad to see come to Switch when it did. Now you can grab it for 50% off and that feels just fine. You also can grab Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy VII for 50% off. Those games are $10.49 and $7.99 respectively. I'm going to queue in on Final Fantasy VII because the remake comes out in just a couple weeks on PlayStation. Maybe you want to relive the magic, how it was initially, originally intended to be experienced for $7.49. That's a pretty good price. Also, if you're excited for a remake and don't have a PS4 or are saving for a PS5 or are only a Switch gamer, hey, you can at least get in on the action uh, while everybody else is going gaga over those gorgeous graphics on PS4. Now, there are a bunch of other titles. I Am Setsuna, Lost Sphere, Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. I'm going to point to Forgotten Anne, and this is going to be a grapevine recommendation. And what I mean by that is Forgotten Anne is $7.99. It is 60% off, and I heard about this game via Rebel FM, which is my favorite podcast of all time. I love those guys. I love the show. Arthur Geese, Anthony Gallegos, Matt Chandernay. I feel like I've listened to them since I was a child. I listen to every episode. They're like my friends. Anyhow, enough of that weird, sad story where I fall asleep listening to my fake internet friends. Anyhow, Forgotten Anne was recommended by them, and it's a very cool game with a demo and a really awesome concept. You're managing these forgotten lanes, who are these objects that have been turned to life in this beautiful art style with a very, very clever story uh, and light puzzle platforming action, but it's mostly about how Anne is going to deal with and make choices uh, and decide to handle all of these different forgotlings that you can control and help 
and maybe even hinder. Um, they've got this beautiful score. It's just a very eloquent game, and I think $7.99 feels like a good price to dip in and see. Plus, there's a demo if you really want to make sure it's right for you. So there's a lot to love from Square, but WayForward 30th Anniversary Sale is also going on right now until 9 a.m. Pacific on March 30th, and they bring the heat. River City Girls is an awesome time. It is $20.99 on sale from 30. That means it is 30% off. And this is a great co-op beat-em-up. I've loved playing this game with my girlfriend. I think it works and appeals to hardcore gamers, uh, newbie gamers, basically anybody. You can also play it solo. There's a lot of beat-em-up love here. Really pretty art. Um, you're going around as these girls. So there's that you know clever kind of twist in the formula where the girls are saving their boyfriends instead of what's usually the other way around. Uh, and they've got some pretty sweet attacks. It's pretty challenging as well. You gotta be careful and make sure you're managing your different moves. You're buying new moves, acquiring upgrades and items. It's just a very fun time and of course has that uh, way forward charm in the visual department. Speaking of way forward charm, Shantae Half Genie Hero is down to $13.99 from $19.99 and that also is a 30% off sale. You can play the Ultimate Edition for a little bit more, um, but I like the original package just because it saves you $7. And if you're not sure if you're a big Shantae fan, then I recommend grabbing the OG package of Half Genie Hero. The Ultimate Edition compiles the DLC, but the original package is pretty stellar as well. Fantastic boss battles, awesome visuals, and pretty cool gameplay. I think Shantae is an underrated franchise that has done very well on Nintendo platforms, so why not grab one on Switcheroo? The last game I'll point out from Way Forward is actually the Mummy Demastered, which is down to $13.99. It is 30% off until March 30th, and it was pretty darn well received when it released in 2017. This is an old school game, Demastered as you see in the title, uh, based around the Mummy, a 16-bit inspired game. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of these. We've seen games like... Um, Bloodstained go back and kind of give you their NES OG style. Uh, obviously, there's plenty of pixel art titles on the Switch, but this is one that you probably missed. It's one that Gabe really enjoyed when it came out, and it describes itself as a non-linear, action-packed adventure with stunning retro graphics, all sorts of weaponry, 50 hidden relics, and a lot of exploration, which I think is pretty nifty. I'm not the biggest fan of the Mummy franchise, but if you've played all of the other big games in this style, then the Mummy Remastered is probably one for you. Now, outside of those publisher sales, there also are a lot of great games on sale, either separately or as part of little developer sales or series sales. And the first one I want to highlight is When Ski Lifts Go Wrong. This is a bridge builder type game where you're building ski lifts to make sure that your little resort dwellers can get going properly without breaking legs, flipping off, and dying. Get them to their ski launch so they can stay safe, drink some hot chocolate, and be happy. This game is 90% off. It is a dollar forty-nine, a buck forty-nine. People, you cannot go wrong with a buck forty-nine. Would I recommend this game at full price? I still think it's fun. I played it when it released, and I liked it a lot. Over a hundred different levels, and it works really well. It's got a nifty uh, aesthetic, and I like making the little ski people go. You actually get to control them at times, which is pretty cool. There's biking as well, um, different different vehicles and sports type type sports type uh, actions, I guess, to partake in. But at a buck fifty. You gotta freaking love it. Now, I'm gonna give you one game that is coming out very soon. It's got a pre release sale, and that is Zombie Army Trilogy. It's down to $29.74 until March 31st, which is when the game launches. So you can get 15% off if you buy this one uh, as a pre order. I love Zombie Army 4 over on PS4 earlier this year, so I'm jonesing to get some of this action on my Switch. These are obviously the older games brought together in a trilogy package but they're pretty dumb, corny fun. Like if you can get past the fact that it's not gonna be world's greatest shooter, it's not gonna have a really appealing emotional story, the mechanics are solid and the action is intense and nonstop. You can play these things co-op, you can play them solo. I really like Zombie Army as a franchise. I think it does good work and sits in that nice B tier of games that we don't get all that often. So grab it early on Switcheroo if you want to save a little bit of cash. We'll now move to Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition, which is down to $24.99, 50% off until March 23rd. This is a Tales game. If you don't know the Tales franchise, they are action 
based RPGs with all sorts of upgrades, all sorts of abilities, all sorts of characters, and ridiculously cool artwork. Vesperia set the bar for the franchise when it released on Xbox 360. Since then, you know, they've had some really beautiful games. There's a new Tales title uh, coming soon. Unfortunately, I don't think it's coming to Switch, which is a bummer, but this is a great one. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of the franchise. It is a beefy game. It has been on sale a lot before, I will let you know. But $24.99 isn't too bad of a price. I've seen it down to like $20 physical. So if you wanted to look around or wait, you probably could get it there eventually. $25 though digitally. If you don't want to leave your house and you want a really long, fun, satisfying, gorgeous, and action-packed RPG. If you're not sort of the turn-based fan uh, that you would need to be for some of those Final Fantasy titles, Vesperia might be for you. I feel like SteamWorld has been on sale perpetually this year. On and then off and then on and then off. But... I have to highlight them because they're phenomenal games. SteamWorld Heist Ultimate Edition is 75% off, down to $4.99 until March 22nd, 322. And this is their tactical shooter from the SteamWorld universe. You're collecting hats, of course, firing guns, and interacting with all sorts of quirky, clever robots. It is a brilliant game. Uh, it is obviously slower paced than SteamWorld Dig, which you're probably most familiar with, but I don't think it's any less awesome. They claim it's 15 to 20 hours of gameplay as the Ultimate Edition is optimized for Nintendo Switch and packs in the DLC campaigns, and it is a really good time of boarding ships, taking everybody out, grabbing the loot, and getting on to the next one as you attempt to save the galaxy from a different perspective in the SteamWorld universe. I mean, I recommend all the games, but I'm also going to give a special shout out to SteamWorld Quest, which I love. This one is 40% off, down to $14.99 till March 22nd. Talked about this ad nauseum. It is a card battler, building your deck, collecting your characters, RPGing your way through all sorts of bosses and encounters with near constant upgrades. It's got the best reward loop that they've established yet in the franchise and the prettiest artwork and I think the best story and lore. To me, SteamWorld Quest is my favorite SteamWorld and that may seem odd because people love the other games and I don't think this one received as much praise, but I'm going to give it that praise. This is one of my favorite indie games on the entire Switch platform ever and you owe it to yourself to give it a go. Who remembers Snake Pass? Gabe would hate me for mentioning this one because for some reason he does not like Snake Pass, but Snake Pass is 70% off, $5.99 until April 6th. I don't think Snake Pass is like a top tier title. I don't think it's one that's going to hit many go get it on eShop lists these days, but at the low price of $6, maybe you want to dive into one of the first eShop titles. This game released March 28th, 2017, right after the Switch launch, and you get to control Noodle the snake in a very physics based snake puzzle platformer. It is hard to maneuver this snake. He is tough to tango with. It's like dancing with someone who has four left feet. That's what it's like to work with Noodle. And uh, I think you're going to like it for $6. Serial Cleaner is another 90% off game that has a very interesting idea. So it might look at first blush like it's trying to bork Hotline Miami. It is a 70s styled, fast paced 2D action stealth game where you're trying to sneak around crime scenes and clean up the mess. You're vacuuming up blood, hiding bodies, getting rid of evidence, and doing your best to make sure the mob does not get put in prison. That sounds like a dangerous job, and it actually is. It's also a really fun one at $1.49 till April 6th. So for three bucks, you can grab Mosquitoes Go Wrong and Serial Cleaner, and honestly, I'm gonna say right now before the video is even over, that's what I would do. Two good games for three bucks that are very different and probably unlike anything else you have on your system, I'm hard pressed to find better offers. And, you know, you see sometimes like Death Square goes down to 99 cents, Astro Bears go down to 99 cents. I, I like, my my red lights are flashing. I'm like, you gotta get these games, sound the alarms because when they're 90% off like that or 80% off or 70% off, man, it's so much better to grab a game like this for $1.49 than some of the weird stuff that pops up for a buck on Switch. A lot of those games are terrible. This game and when Ski Loves, not bad at all. Rocket League is a known quantity, but it is also going on sale. 50% off to $9.99 till March 18th. You know Rocket League. It's soccer and cars. They've added a lot of updates, a bunch of different skins and, and customization options. It's a fantastic game. I think it's died in popularity with the uh, arrival of Battle Royale as the, the big thing forever now. But plenty of people still playing, and it's still an awesome time. Maybe nothing has topped it in the sports cooperative, uh, sorry, sports competitive space. I'm looking forward to the amazing roller derby game uh, from Ubisoft, but until that guy is out, Rocket League reigns supreme, and honestly probably will uh, for years to come. 
Little Nightmares Complete Edition. Oh, you guys know how I love Little Nightmares. It's 66% off down to $10.19 till March 23rd. And while Bandai Namco does not like me showing their trailers, I still love this game. The sequel is releasing sometime this year, and it will be on Switch. It's a bigger, better version, hopefully, of Little Nightmares, which is a phenomenal ambiance and vibe game. It really evokes a mood and immerses you in this creepy ship. Not space, but out to sea where murderous Muppets want your soul. There are these crazy hide-and-seek sequences where you have to escape freaky puppet-like bosses. Maybe they're an evil chef or some sort of toy maker. It's really weird and wild, and your little character will tactically interact with the entire world. I love pulling the drawers open and moving boxes. There's just a lot of wonderful game design here. Tarsier Studios established a name for themselves with Little Nightmares. They brought the complete edition to Nintendo Switch, and again, you owe it to yourself to play this one for only 10 bucks right now. Flipping Death, an indie game that a lot of people were super pumped for back in 2018 from Zoink Games. This one, I don't know, it disappointed me a little bit upon launch. I don't think it really lived up maybe to the, uh, the hype that was set for it. It also took a while to release, and that might have been part of the problem, but it's 75% off for $4.99 until March 22nd, and at $5, this game is still fantastic. Uh, it got a lot of 8s and 9s, so maybe it was just me who was disappointed. I think a lot of people did love it. It didn't rub Gabe and I exactly the right way, but you can go in and rub shoulders with dead people as you try and solve their problems, traversing back and forth between the world of the living and the world of the dead. It is a super duper creative concept, great art style, and I love Zoink Games. I think they do good work. I'm eager to see what they're working on next. Flipping Death can be yours for five dollars. couple games left. Ant Hill. Ant Hill is a weird one. Ant Hill is actually made by Image and Form, the people who make SteamWorld. This is one of their first titles, and it is an Ant Hill RTS. I thought this game would be super dumb because it came out long ago. It was one of their first projects. Maybe they hadn't established their prowess uh, and awesome sensibilities back then, but for 60% off, you can get this game for $3.99 till March 22nd, and I wholeheartedly recommend it. It is a touchscreen-based game, and you're going to be drawing paths for your different bugs to defend against other bugs. It's like Angry Bugs Life on your Switch, and it's actually a ton of fun. There aren't many RTS games out there these days. Definitely not a lot on Switch. This one really messes with the formula. It is very fast-paced and fun, and you'll be constantly drawing on your Switch, taking advantage of the lovely touchscreen functionality, and can play this in handheld mode. It's a great game to play in bed. It's a great game to play in the bathroom. It's a great game to play while locked inside, and it's one that you probably don't have and haven't heard of. Again, a game you can get for a couple of bucks that actually provides a lot of quality. The little title picture may look like it's a bummer, but I'm promising you, there are big britches behind this one. It is one of the first titles from a fantastic developer, and they got started early. This one is no slouch, and I give it two thumbs up. Last but not least, we got Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Ubisoft had a sale recently, uh, but they are putting some of their games on sale again or differently, I guess. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered is 50% off until March 23rd. That makes it $19.99. This includes Liberation and DLC. 20 bucks for some AC on your Switch, and a game that at the time was nowhere near as popular as AC2, but in hindsight, it's still a tried and true pretty good AC, and you can relive uh, a lot of interesting events in American history as the game takes you into the shoes of Connor and the American Revolution, and then you also have uh, Liberation, which was released elsewhere and now brought into one package. A, I say if you haven't played Assassin's Creed in a while, if you'd like to see it on Switch, I think this is a good one. They also have Black Flag, uh, the Rebel Collection, if you want to go a little bit further down the lineage of the franchise. But 3 Remastered at 50% off, pretty good pick. That's going to do it for the list. Over 20 games on sale. So many solid titles. I'm only highlighting the great ones. There are other games on sale right now, obviously. But these are the really good ones, and I think you'll have fun with any of them. My top picks, as I mentioned already, Serial Cleaner for a buck 49 when ski lifts go wrong for a buck 49 are fantastic uh, i also obviously love little nightmares for 10 19 66 percent off i think flipping death for five ant hill for four i think a lot of these games even snake pass getting a significant discount they're all good picks and then if you go back to the publisher sales if you like final fantasy if you're a fan of way forward got a lot of good options there this is one of the strongest sales i've seen all year 
and definitely in a long while. So let me know what you're planning to pick up in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe so you know when all the good games go on sale. I got you covered with new sale videos whenever Nintendo decides to drop the goodies on our heads, and hopefully they continue to do so, because games are our saving grace, as I mentioned. And I'll have you covered with Animal Crossing New Horizons footage soon. Until then, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I have, hope you're having a fantastic day. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Be good to everybody. And until next time, Switch Force, out.